Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the use cases that we commonly face when we are building a web application and when this web application has multiple environments. For example, there's a production environment, test environment, demo environments. And these multiple environments are in different AWS accounts. But you want to share the domain. Let's say in this case, there's this domain called nlearvideos.tk. And you want to share this domain among these uh, AWS accounts. So how do you do that? Now in this screen, you guys can see, uh, I have this www.nlearvideos.tk. Now let's imagine this is a production website. And we have uh, configured all the uh, resources. It could be S3 buckets, API gateways, um, application load balancers, and all these uh, AWS resources in the production AWS account. And let's imagine that we need another environment for demo. And uh, we want the URL to be, let's say, demo.nlavideos.tk. And when we hit enter, it should uh, show the demo site. It's basically, uh, before sending it to the production, we are demoing it to our stakeholders, right? But uh, we don't want to create the AWS resources in the same production account. We want to have a separate AWS account, which is the best practice, really. We should uh, segregate our resources in AWS accounts for more logical isolation. So your team decided to follow that best practice and have multiple AWS account. But now you have the issue, how can we share this uh, domain in the Route 53 hosted zone among the other accounts? So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. So let's have a look at our production account setup. In Route 53, I have created this uh, hosted zone called nlearvideos.tk. And if I go into it, you can see I have this uh, name server record, SOA record, and uh, one of the A records as well. Well, I own this domain, this nlearvideos.tk. So after I create this hosted zone, I copied over this uh, name server records from AWS. And I went over to my uh, client area in my domain provider. And I went ahead uh, into the managed domain uh, configuration. And here I went over to the uh, name server section. So I replaced uh, the domain provider's default name servers with AWS name servers. So all the uh, route resolution or the DNS resolution will happen from AWS end. And then I created my uh, production uh, domain which is in this case www.nlavideos.tk now this uh, a record type and here i am uh, pointing this to a static uh, s3 bucket so let me show you that in s3 i've created uh, a bucket named uh, www.nlavideos.tk make sure this name matches with the uh, record name that you created that is www.nlavideos.tk and here I have an index HTML file and uh, also I enable static web hosting. If you go to properties section and go all the way down, you can see I've enabled static web hosting. Now this is our static web hosting URL. When we uh, click onto it, you should see we will see the same uh, production site website. And then I went ahead and uh, link it with our www.nlearvideos.tk a record. And after that, when I visit it, www.nlevideos.tk, I will see that production uh, site website. So that's the current setup. And now I want to have my demo environment in a different AWS account. So let's uh, go to the other AWS account. Here I will use uh, account switching. So let's say this is uh, my demo account. Now this is a different AWS account. And as you can see, it doesn't have any hosted zone. So step one, you need to create a hosted zone by specifying the domain that you want to use in the other environment. So in this case, I want to use demo.nlearvideos.tk. Okay, so this is the step number one. So you have to create a hosted zone with the subdomain that you want to associate it with this account. And then I'll create it. And now I have uh, the name server records in the hosted zone of the demo account. 
and then I'll copy over these name server records from my demo account. I'll copy it into a text file. And then I'll switch back to my production account. And here, as I have already shown, I have created the hosted zone and a video TK, that true domain hosted zone. Now I will go ahead and create a new name server record. So this time I will add the same subdomain that is demo.nlevideos.tk but this is not a A record but a name server record. And now I will paste all those name servers from the second AWS account over to here. So let's go here and I'll copy that, paste it over. And I'll set the TTL time to a lower value, let's say 10 seconds. And then I'll create the record. Okay, so the record is added. So it's a name server record and these name servers are pointing to my other AWS account. So what will happen when someone visit demo.nlea.tk? So this is how the DNS resolution happens. Browsers will first check uh, where these TK domains are. And this uh, main TK domain name servers will point where these TK domains are. And after that, it will check where the endly videos TK. So this is where our client provider or the domain provider uh, will tell, okay, these are available in uh, these name servers. Since we have replaced these name servers with the AWS name servers, it will resolve uh, here in the endly videos TK hosted zone. And after that, the browser will further ask, okay, where is this demo.nlavideos.tk? And then this uh, nlavideos.tk hosted zone will reply with these name servers. Now, these are the uh, name servers of our second AWS account. Let's uh, switch back to that. And after that, it will land here. And now let's uh, associate this demo.nlavideos.tk with an A record pointing to our S3 bucket or the static web hosted S3 bucket in this demo account. So first and foremost, I will uh, go over to S3. Now this is in the demo account. You can see this YouTube uh, label. And I'll go ahead and create a new bucket with the same uh, subdomain name, which is uh, demo v and demo.nlearvideos.tk and then I'll remove uh, block all public access acknowledge it and create the bucket so it's here now I'll select the bucket I'll go to properties go all the way down under the static uh, web hosting section let's enable it Hosting a static website, let's uh, add an object called index.html, which is going to be the index file of our website, and save changes. And let's uh, upload that file. And here I have an index.html file, so let's upload this one. Upload. It succeeded. Now let's go to the properties one more time and try to access our website. Now still I get this uh, 403 forbidden because we haven't had any bucket policy so that anonymous users can uh, read it. So let's go to the permission section and add a bucket policy. So this is the bucket policy. So in this area we need to define the bucket policy. Let's go to learn more section. And here in the documentation, I will search for uh, bucket policy examples, this one. And here I'll select this link, granting read-only permission to anonymous user. Copy this over. Edit the bucket policy. Paste it. So essentially we are giving get object and get object version permission to this bucket, which is uh, demo dot videos.tk so let me replace this placeholder 
all right and then i'll save now you can see it is public publicly accessible so if i refresh this again here we go i can see the demo site and then I'll uh, copy this same static uh, URL and come over to the uh, Route 53. Now this is still in the demo account. So I'll go ahead and create a record. Demo.endlyvideos.tk and uh, this is an A record. So we are connecting an uh, S3 website endpoint. And let's select the region. So right now I think I am in US East 1. Yes, US East 1. And then it should show me the demo.nlavideos.tk. Now make sure you name the uh, bucket exactly as your uh, subdomain name, right? Otherwise it won't show up. Create record. All right, so it is now connected. But however, if we try to visit uh, demo.nlearvideos.tk, uh, let's see if we if we see it. Well, it works. It was rather fast. I thought it will take some time for the domain propagation, but since we have already connected our name servers from the uh, production account to this account that just work so now demo.nlearvideos.tk works and also our production account works as well now these are in two aws accounts so that's how you share a domain among aws accounts thanks for watching guys i'll see you in another video